Hello everybody, we meet again after a pretty long break. Uh, in the meantime, I managed to read some books, make some things and today I present you a new application uh, which I created uh, to help me develop new applications and uh, maybe help you with this occasion. Uh, I've always been a fan of NTR architecture, always uh, enjoyed working with classes and methods and objects and uh, basically this application you can see on the screen SQL to C sharp class generator helps us do exactly this create classes methods objects uh, let's start with a small presentation here we have a SQL server connection or we could connect to SQL Compact Edition database. For our example, I will choose this one. I have a sample database prepared here. Okay. And here we have a list of the tables in the database. We will choose users for this. And uh, here in the middle, we can see the fields and the field types contained by this table. And uh, two important things here. Uh, with orange we got user ID which is the primary key of the field this will help us when we create the class to have uh, the where cause based on this uh, this primary key and uh, we have uh, with uh, gray uh, foreign keys to constrain to to other tables which will also help us to create our uh, classes uh, the class name here it's customizable because uh, you always you have a class called user not user because you always uh, look at one object from it so uh, we'll just uh, make it a singular user and collection name users is where uh, you got you have methods to return a collection of uh, objects from the class Name. So uh, basically, we have uh, get uh, all users or get users by uh, user uh, by uh, user group ID or something like this. So let's recap. First, you select the database, select the table, put the name of the class you want, and here you have the fields. You click. We select all the fields, and we simply press here the generate button. Uh, we can see very well in here, but uh, we'll switch immediately to another view. Here we have a, a user CS class and the user collection CS class. And here is the namespace because you can use these classes directly into your uh, project. You can change the namespace to whatever project you use. So we are we either have uh, an options to copy the current tab uh, co content to clipboard or save it as uh, CS classes. I saved it so as we can see here uh, the program created two classes let's just open it okay and take a look at it. First we have uh, the user class as mentioned it, in which we have a little um, error checking you could uh, use this to implement checking for example uh, value cannot be uh, greater than uh, something and here is a column and uh, if it's not valid what you check here it return an error message and this error message can be displayed uh, near the text box or whatever is by wherever this field is binded to so uh, basically here we have uh, the user the members all fields get and set properties for each one of them of it here we have a constructor with uh, no parameter parameters and the one that uh, contains all parameter and he here we have the main uh, methods we got an insert method which basically we need to send the connection as a parameter and it will take care of the rest yes we have an update for the primary key of the table you remember here it is orange the same uh, goes for delete delete for uh, where primary key is and uh, you got uh, get user by user ID to retrieve only one uh, 
one user but uh, this is the first class it only take care of the user object but uh, there are situations for example uh, I want to see all the user group or the all the users that have a certain user group ID like uh, uh, reader only or administrator or something or we want to see a user from a certain city uh, because these are foreign keys as we can see it in here we will uh, have method generated for it in users collection so basically we have here get all user it's a generic method that returns all the fields in a table as you can see it here uh, it return a list of users and uh, basically can be binded to everything use it in a grid view or in whatever else you want and because we have two foreign keys we will have get user by user group id in which we send the user group id as a parameter string and you can see here the select by the user group id of course uh, here we don't have the, the user group id set it return or we can have get users by city id it's exactly the same so basically this is what this application helps me to do generate classes and use them uh, in the future projects for all kind of uh, operations basically after you do this uh, you will have uh, all the operations needed to create application based on these uh, classes uh, there will be a future tutorial in which we will also see uh, how to use these lists or objects returned uh, by the classes. Until then, uh, I invite you to download it, uh, test it. I am sure it's full of bugs. I haven't even uh, tested it myself very, very precisely. But uh, I do hope that uh, you will give me feedback and I'm not sure that uh, this kind of generator creates classes as it's supposed to be or its method or its uh, properties. But uh, with your experience, we, you could help me and uh, we should make a very good version 1, not uh, 0.1. Of the application uh, just a small uh, reminder because we are still in YPF area this entire interface is created in YPF I must say I really enjoy working with it it is very flexible as you can see uh, but the classes are, are of course are pure C sharp code so thank you all for watching uh, we'll be meeting soon with a brief tutorial on how to use and access these classes. Thank you all. I'm waiting for your feedback. Do not forget the feedback. Okay. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, just a small reminder. I would like to thank my friend Claudio for guidance and for helping me dealing with this uh, jungle of classes. Thank you. Thank you, man. You've been a great help. And uh, thank you all for watching. Cheers.